Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. I am so excited to be filming this for you guys. I've been wanting to film this literally since the start of the month. Like I knew this is what I wanted to film as like my last video in October and I've been so excited to film this for you. So if you want a huge Disney haul to cheer you up today then this is definitely the video for you. So if you've been following my channel for a while then you'll know this is actually my second haul I've ever done. Not, not the biggest pro when it comes to hauls um, but we're just going to roll with it. And I'm so excited to do this, I've really really enjoyed thinking about how I'm going to film it and stuff and yeah I've been really excited to film it for you guys so I really hope you guys enjoy and I'll stop rambling and just show you everything that I've bought. So the first thing I'm going to start off with is ears because I can wear them and my hair is not going to look like this. So I bought these ears quite a few weeks ago but I wanted to wait and talk about them on here because they're honestly just the most beautiful pair of ears I've ever owned and if you guys want a beautiful pair of ears then you should definitely go and check this lady out. I will leave everything in the description box below but these are what the ears look like so they're a beautiful like blush pink velvet um, and the bow is just so like puffy and so are like the actual ears. So I bought them from Etsy and the Etsy account is Laura Rose Treasure and I will leave the account and everything in the description below if you want to check them out but they're honestly just beautiful. I will pop them on. Um, I've not actually got a mirror but we're just gonna put them on. So they're just beautiful i love them so much she also has an instagram account if you want to check that out again i will leave that linked in the description box below so i paid 17.85 so she did have a discount code um it was just like a one-off code that everyone could use but full price they are only 21 pounds which i think is a really good price for like a beautiful quality pair of ears and i've actually got another pair currently being made so I could not recommend this brand enough, obviously. I've bought a few pairs now, so I wanted to recommend the brand because, you know, I've bought a few pairs and I think it's a, a trusty brand. These are what the ears look like on my head, um, if any of you wanted a close-up. Not that you want a close-up on my face, but um, they just sit really nice, I think, on the head. Um, I've got quite a big head, so nice big ears kind of works for me, I think. Um, I don't know, we're just gonna go into the next ones. So now I'm going to go into pins because I have a lot of pins. This is probably the most pins I've ever bought within one month. I would never usually buy this this much but I thought I'd treat myself. It's Halloween, I got very excited this year. So I've got a few Halloween ones and a few cast member ones. I am off to the park today to pick up another pin um, which is why I actually look somewhat presentable today because I'm going out in public. I'm actually picking up this pin for Joe. Now it's a Lime Bertie pin which it's only coming out and I can only pick it up at half past two which is why it's not here whilst I'm filming this but I am picking that up today which is very very exciting. It's a really really nice pin. It was a 700 limited edition pin and it was 15 99 and I just think it was a, a really nice pin. So onto the pins that I actually physically have here. I'm gonna start with a cast member pin. Why not? So this is the first cast member pin, it is a Cruella de Vil pin and it just says cast member on um, and I just think it's a really nice pin, I wanted to buy all the cast member pins but yeah I think it's a really nice pin. This was only a £5 from our backstage shop and obviously it's only limited edition to cast members but yeah it was really nice. I do have another one which is the Chippendale one which I showed in my last pin collection which you guys can go watch if you haven't seen. And I have another one which I will show you now. So this is what the second pin looks like. It's obviously another cast member one and it's got Pascal on and oh, I just think it's honestly the cutest pin ever. Again, this was um, five euros. I think I said five pounds for the quality of one. Obviously this is all in euros but I forget sometimes. And it's just a really, really nice pin. I mean, the Twiggy's holding definitely covers up the cast member but it's fine. Yeah, I just think it's a really, really lovely pin. It's cast number one, so I'm obviously going to buy it. It said it was limited edition 3,020. I mean, in terms of how many cast members Disney employ, it is quite limited, really. Um, but I managed to pick both of them up, which is really exciting. And you can actually only purchase one of each as a cast member, so you can't buy, like, more and try and trade them. You actually just can buy one, which is why I'd probably never trade my cast member pins, because they're kind of one of a kind-ish. 
Okay, so the next couple of pins are Halloween pins and when I saw them, ugh, I just had to buy them. They were all amazing and I tried to be like, okay, don't get them all, just get a couple and I couldn't, I just had to buy them all. They're just adorable. So the first one is this grumpy Donald Halloween pin. It's just so cute. I'm really sorry for my shaky hand. I just can't hold him still. He's dressed up and he just looks adorable. Is he a bat? I'm gonna say he's a bat and I just think it's an adorable pin. So this was the green price bracket, which is the cheapest price. So I think it was about like six or seven euros. And even the detailing on the card, I'm not sure if you can see it, but like here, there's like bats and everything and it's just a really lovely pin, I think. So yes, that was the Donald one. So the next pin I got is actually a glow in the dark pin, um, which I haven't tested. It was really cute and again, I just had to buy it. It is this Pluto dressed as like a little skeleton and it's just the cutest. So it says at the top here that it's glow in the dark and his colour dangles and it's just the cutest pin, I think. I actually don't think we have any Pluto pin, so this could possibly be our first Pluto pin, but it's just adorable and this came under the yellow price bracketing. I'm not going to pretend that I know the colours because I don't, I just know that green is the cheapest. But I, I think I explained it all in my other pin trading video, um, so it's, it's somewhere along my channel. But yeah, this was the yellow one and I just think it's so cute and glows in the dark. So the next Halloween pin I got was a double trouble pin, but there was a bit of confusion with this pin. I'll explain it all in a minute, but this is the pin. It is the Chippendale pin and oh, just look how cute they are. I know the reflection of my window is on, on the card, but this is what it looks like. I actually thought that this 2020 was part of the pin and they were connected. Um, so I was actually a little bit disappointed to find out that they were just like two completely separate pins, but Oh, they're just adorable and I got to hang out with Chippendale over Halloween so I thought it was a perfect pin to get. This is the pink slash rose price bracket which I've actually never seen before I don't think so I definitely don't know the price of this but again it's rose slash pink and I love anything Chippendale so oh that was just another pin that dropped on the floor but we'll ignore it. So I've got two more pins left but this is actually the last Halloween pin that I got and of course it's the main man himself, it's Mickey and oh I just think it's so cute. I love all the Halloween pins this year and um, again this 2020 is not part of the pin which I keep forgetting but yeah I just think it's a really really lovely pin and now I've got lots of Halloween pins to add into my collection. This was in the green price bracket again, so one of the cheapest pins that we have. Um, so yeah, I just thought it was a really, really lovely pin. Okay, so a last pin, and this was an absolute nightmare to get. Not gonna lie to you. So this pin got released probably only a few weeks ago now, and the rush was insane to get it. So I really didn't expect it to be sort of that popular I don't think so this pin was originally meant to come out in March and obviously due to the park shutting and stuff it got postponed and it's only just been released now but oh my lord they everywhere was sold out literally I think I went to look at about 12 o'clock and every single shop had sold out completely so the only option was to wait for Disney Village to open at 5 p.m. and go then. And I actually wasn't around at that time, so I asked a friend because she was gonna go and try and find the pins. So I asked if she could pick one up for me. And she said it was insane. Like people were just running after these pins. So they were very, very popular and I'm really, really happy that I got it. It is this Alice Animators pin. I really just didn't expect them to be so popular and it's Alice and she's holding Dinah. This was the orange price bracket. So I think this is like the, the medium-ish middle price. But yeah, I'm really, really happy that I got it because it's just adorable and there was loads of different ones. Like there was a Tinkerbell, there was a Briar Rose, there was a Cinderella, there was all sorts and they honestly are just the most beautiful pins. So yeah, I was really happy that I got to buy this. And that is all the pins that I got. That took a while, but yeah, I've bought a lot. On to the next, because I don't wanna ramble on for ages and this video will be about half an hour long. So the next thing I'm gonna show you is the new magnet that we have. So my mom really likes to collect magnets from everywhere she goes. 
and we always get the the magnets from Disney that say Disneyland pa and then like Paris at the bottom and they always bring out new designs of this so I seen this one and I thought oh it's beautiful we absolutely have to get it this was $5.99 which is a really good price I think for a Disney magnet and it looks like this so this is what it looks like and as you can see it's got loads of different characters on it's mainly the VIPs and yeah I thought it was lovely we have a lot of these and yeah $5.99 is a really great price I think so we got this I'll pop that here. Now, onto the stuff that I got from Jessica. So this was discounted. Don't think there's anything wrong with them, but I got these and they're all presents, but I've already shown them all, so it's fine. So the first thing I got is this Baymax statue. It's just really cute. Me and Jo love Baymax, so I thought it was just a really cute thing to get and it was in the Disney Showcase collection. Yeah, it wasn't very expensive, so I thought I would just pick that up. This is the thing, I end up just buying random things because they're so cheap and then end up having like a ridiculous amount of things that I don't probably need but who cares it's Disney you can never have enough Disney so I also picked up three Tum Tums I know I probably don't pronounce that right but I call them Tum Tums um their first two are Woody and Jessie I just think they were super cute and why not get Woody and Jessie we have quite a few of these Tum Tums so I always like to pick up ones that are in Jessica that we don't have. These are what the Woody and Jessie ones look like close up. I just thought they were really cute, um, cute ones to add to the collection, so why not? So I got a Woody and Jessie, and then I also picked up this Donald one, which is adorable, and he's dressed in like a little French outfit, and it looks like that, and it's just the cutest little Tom Tom. I love it so much and we are big fans of Donald so yeah I picked that up. Okay the last two things before I get onto clothes. Now this was completely unnecessary but why not I just thought I would buy them. I got this dog bowl and it's got lots of different dogs in from all the Disney movies. Um, it's actually not that big and um, not that we can compare it to my head but it's actually probably not going to be a great bowl for my dogs and I for some reason only picked up one and I have two dogs but oh well. Um, this is originally meant to be $7.99 which I think is also a really good price. Yeah it's just really cute. The sad thing is obviously it doesn't have all the dogs on. I would have liked Doug to be on there if I'm honest because I think he's probably like my favourite like actual dog. Um, I know he class Stitch as a dog but he's really an alien. Um, but yeah I just thought it was really really nice and it was cheap so I thought why not and I also picked up a cat one because I also have a cat um, and it was just I loved it so much because I love animals but I think I'm definitely a cat person and um, this is definitely a good size for a cat Um again this is meant to be 7 .99 and yeah I just thought that's my Christmas presents sorted for the pets yeah so I got these and I thought they were really really cute that was all my like bits and pieces that I've bought and I'm now gonna go on to clothes so I've got five items of clothing um I definitely spent more than I would like to but it's okay it's Disney it's fine again like I said if I can find the links I will leave them in the description below if you guys want to check them out but between them all, they were from Bershka H&M and a small business shop called Wish Upon a Thread. So I'll start with the Bershka clothes. So the first thing I got is this horizontal stripey, I'm not sure what we're calling it. Are we calling it a jersey? Are we calling it a, a baseball top? I'm not sure what the official thing. I am no fashionista. Um, but if you follow me on Instagram, you will recognise this. I wore it when I went to my pumpkin patch and I just loved it so much. I actually picked this up in a medium and it is a men's but it was literally the only size so I didn't really care, I just wanted it and it fits really really nice to be fair. I fold the arms up and yeah I love it so so much. I just think it's adorable and it says House of Mickey. Yeah I just think it's so so cute. It's probably one of my favourite things that I've bought this month. Oh, I say that actually I love every single thing that I've bought this month so just ignore me. The next thing is this House of Mickey jumper and the main reason I bought this 
is because it has pockets and I'm obsessed with anything that has pockets in. Not gonna lie, it gives me sort of Hogwartsy vibes, but it's okay. And at the bottom it says the one and only and I just thought it was a really, really nice jumper to wear and yeah, I feel like you could style this quite a few ways. Not that I am very good when it comes to putting pieces of clothes together, but you could throw it on with some leggings and you could dress it up, I think, if you wanted to. Um, don't ask me about fashion advice because I'm not the one to go to. But yeah, they are both from Bershka and I really, really liked them. And they were both about £25.99 or something like that. There were a lot more things that I wanted to buy in the new Bershka uh, Mickey Mouse collection, but money doesn't grow on trees, so I couldn't buy everything um, as much as I wanted to. And now I'm going to go on to the stuff that I bought from H&M. Again, I think these were both £25.99-ish. Um, nothing was more than like €30, Euros, but I think they were both like €25, €26. Euros. Um, so the first one is this Alice in Wonderland grey, like, jumper, sweater, not sure what we're calling it. And it says, welcome to Wonderland. And it's got a picture of Alice on. Yeah, I just think it's really, really lovely. It's so, so cosy and it's really, really nice quality. Um, I picked this up in a medium as well and yeah i just think it's a lovely jumper and the other thing that i got from h&m again was an alice in wonderland jumper because they had this whole alice in wonderland collection and i just got very excited but it's this like creamy beige jumper and it says alice in wonderland and it's got alice inside a bottle and it's really really lovely and i really really liked the detailing on the sleeves i just thought it was a really really nice jumper and i'd never seen something like this before i picked this up in a small and <gasps> i've just realized it's still got the tag on and i definitely wore this the other day with the tag on i i do this all the time and i forget to take the tags out of them this was 24.99 actually um, yes, and I picked it up in a small and the final piece of outfit I got was again from a small business and it was called Wish Upon a Threads and I'm just obsessed. It again is uh, some Wonderland themed and it says my world is a wonderland and I just thought it was a really really lovely top. It did come with the option to have a doorknob at the side and you can either add it or take it away which obviously I didn't include because I thought it would just look really nice. Just the words and yeah it was a really really lovely top. I picked it up in a medium. I would definitely have to tuck it into something just because it's a bit of a funny like style top when I have it out and um, so I'd always tuck it into something but I just thought it was really, really nice. And I paid £17 for it. I'm not sure if I had some sort of discount code for this because it said it was £18.50 originally. So I got £1.50 off. I know they have a few brand reps that do um, discount codes. Um, I'm not a brand rep, but you can find a discount code for them somewhere. Um, but yeah, I just thought it was a really, really lovely top. And I will leave her website down in the description box and they, she does some beautiful clothes, like really, really beautiful. The thread is lovely and yeah, I just thought it was a really, really lovely top. So that is it for today's haul. Oh, no, no, it's not actually. I actually picked up this this month as well. And it's a Disneyland Paris hashtag best, best day ever, a thousand piece puzzle. So this is what the puzzle looks like. I just thought it was a really cute puzzle and I've been really into doing them as like a pastime. So I thought it was a really nice thing to pick up. This was actually on offer. It was 40% off and then I got an extra 25% off for being a cast member. Um, so it ended up being like an insanely cheap price. Um, originally it's meant to be 17.99 and I think I got it for like seven, nine euros or something like that. Um, it was definitely under 10 euros, which is amazing. And yeah, I just think it's really nice. It's got Jolly Roger, it's got the Small World, Big Thunder Mountain, Hyperspace Mountain, the Carousel, Orbitron, obviously the Castle and the Eiffel Tower. So that is it for this haul. This is everything that I bought in terms of Disney this October. I've had so much fun filming this for you guys. I really, really have. And if you've enjoyed watching it, then please do give this a big thumbs up because it does help out my channel a lot. And subscribe if you are new and you're still here. If you are still here, thank you so, so much for watching. It really does mean the world to me. 
follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. I do leave my Instagram linked down in the description box below. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video and thank you all so, so much for watching.